Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now, a while back, I decided to cut the cord, and the reason is, is that I just work way too much. I didn't have enough time to enjoy all the channels that I was getting from my cable provider. So what I decided to do is I have high-speed internet, and then I started using applications, YouTube TV, Hulu, as well as uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime. I pretty much have all the content that I need. But here's what's happening. I had a TV set here in my living room, which I really never use, and I decided to update that TV because I was using a Roku device on it. Then I thought about it and I said, why don't I just buy a TV with Roku in it? Now, when I went to do my research, there's all kind of different models, and being a tech guy, I know you guys expect me to buy the newest and the greatest, but I had to take in consideration how much time I use something. So what I decided to get is the TCL55 S405. So sit back and relax, and let me tell you all about it. So I decided to get the 2017 4 Series. Now it has everything that I need, but keep in mind there is two new series. There's a 5 Series that has Dolby Vision, as well as a remote control that you can do voice commands. And if you want to step up to the 6 Series, it has custom contrast ratios, so you get contrast in different areas that's con custom control that's going to increase your black levels. So now let me show you what comes in the box. You get an instruction manual and a remote control. And the difference about this Roku remote is that you have a power button on top as well as your volume control and mute button on the sides. Taking a look at the back of the TV, you have your power input. You have a built-in TV tuner, so if you want to go off air, that's fine. As well as a USB input, and you can also play media off that. It has three HDMI inputs and one arc so you can control your devices and all of them are 2.0 so it will support all your PlayStation Pros as well as the Xbox One. And on the bottom you're going to find an audio output for fiber optics. It also supports Wi-Fi up to AC and Ethernet if you just want to plug a wire directly into it as well as audio inputs from your older devices. And you're also going to find your standard mounts if you plan on mounting it on the wall. So you can use it without your remote control, but it won't be as nice. I must say the speakers are pretty good. It's powered by two 8 watt amplifiers, and since they're bottom firing, it actually fills the room pretty good. I've already set up the Roku features, but if you need to know how to set it up, I made a few more videos about that. I'll leave a link in the description below. So I'm just going to take you through some of the features that are different than this than your normal Roku. If you're using some type of device that can control your TV, make sure you use HDMI 1. And then you have two and three as well. Even though I have all these apps, I did plug in Tano on it just to see what kind of channels I can get in my area. It'll scan your antenna channel as well as your cable channels if your provider doesn't require a box. Next hit done. It did a really good job finding all my local channels, and plus it pulls up the menus and everything. But I won't play the video because of YouTube. Now if you don't use all these inputs, if you hit the star on your remote control, you can go rename it, like PlayStation. You can also remove the input so you won't see it when you're looking for a source. Another feature about the Roku TV, if you go down to your settings here, you can change your basic TV settings right here. And if it's an HDR program, it'll give you an indication so you know it's going to pick up high resolution. Another thing I like about this TV is that you can choose custom colors for every input. So if you're a gamer, you can set that up real nice by hitting the star on the remote control. And here's all the TV options. So again, you can control this for every input. You have your brightness settings, like normal, bright, brighter. Low power mode, movie mode. You can choose your picture size, your audio, sleep timer. You also have advanced picture settings. And this is where you can go in and change all your custom colors. And under accessibility, you can change like the voice commands whenever you hit any buttons. And under TV inputs, you can rename it as well as choose the HDMI mode. So if you're using gaming, you want to go to 2.0 if you have any of the new PlayStations, and that'll support 60 hertz per second. And again, this works on all your inputs, not just one. 
And under TV antenna, you can go in here, scan again, and also rename all your channels, and also create favorite channels. Under audio, you can change the speakers off and on, as well as the volume for your Roku sound, and all your digital settings right here. And the last thing I'm gonna show you, under systems, you can also go into USB media, and you can turn it off or on, and you can use the built-in Roku player. Since the TV screen is 4K, you're gonna need a video card that you can control unless you wanna watch it at the maximum resolution. The display on it looks very beautiful. Like here's some examples that I filmed with my iPhone 8. And here's a sample of some footage I filmed for one of my friends. And you can also do some gaming on it, even with an older Xbox that uses 1080p. Opinion, this is one of the best televisions out there for the money even though it's a 2017 model you can only get better with the 2018 models I bought the 55 inch because again I don't use a lot but when I want to watch football or something like that this television actually delivers very well the picture is sharp and crisp and it has plenty of inputs to support any kind of future growth that I'm gonna do in this particular room if you want to know more information about it I'll leave all the details in the comments below including the newer models and if you like this kind of content give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.